Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. I'm here in Santa's workshop and I got a new toy. I got some new toys. As you can see behind me over here, I got a brand new barrel up in the workshop. So I'm going to have some new, new uh, fun pieces of barrel coming out soon. But also this. And this is what was in that. This is a new Yellowstone single barrel store pick. And this one's 115 proof. This is from Inlet Harbor Liquors here in West Palm Beach, Florida. And, uh, you know, I have... I wasn't involved in this store. Pit. I have had... It's the 4th of July. You're probably going to hear some fireworks during this. <laughs> Happy birthday, America! Um, I've had mixed results with Yellowstone single barrel store picks. Some I've really liked and some I haven't been a huge fan of. So we are about to find out where this one falls in that range. And it is hot as a bag of butts. Freaking July. Ooh, yuck. Let's do this. Let's see. Let's see if this is truly America. Initial impression is it's a little funky. Now Yellowstone, which is Long Branch Distillery, they um, they use some funky yeast strains, and so their whiskey always tends to have a little bit of a funkiness to to the nose and to the palate. It gives it almost a it's almost a finishy kind of a feel. It's that odd. It's that different that it gives me a, a kind of a almost a wine esque kind of a earthy mineral funk. Now it's nothing like Dickel. It's nothing like that kind of mineral funk, but it's a different brand of a mineral earthy funkiness that I get from Yellowstone, and I'm I'm sure it has everything to do with their their yeast strains that they're using. This has lots of vanilla, a little bit of nice apple peel, a little black pepper, maybe white pepper, maybe white pepper. The rye is really spearmint and really, really spicy rye. There's a little effervescence to it. It's a little bit of sparkly effervescence. A nice amount of funky oak. And um, you know the you know Vicks Vapo Rub? I get like just a little little hint of Vicks Vapo Rub on the nose. Like that little sharp, spicy herbal kind of a note. Let's taste. Oh, I like the palate better than the nose. Oh, okay. Oh, the finish is the best part. The, the finish levels out because it's very spicy. There's a lot going on. It's very spicy whiskey. But the finish levels off into a buttery, creamy vanilla that just like after all the spiciness and all the spikiness through the mouthfeel and, and the palate and then on into the, when it goes into the finish, it just levels out into this real nice buttery, smooth, creamy vanilla finish that's still going. That's a, a long finish, impressively long. It's kind of fading out now. It was a long vanilla with hints of butterscotch. Real buttery, real creamy. All right. Oh, the nose changes after you have a sip. It's almost got a bit of a chick, like somewhere between cherry cola and a birch beer. It's got a, a, a little spicy funkiness to it, but it's got a nice cola birch beer-esque kind of a 
nose to it after you taste it. I get hints of cherry cola and hints of birch beer. Wow, that's really weird. The nose changes a lot after you taste it. Let's taste again. Spicy, apple peel, uh, even a bit of a hint of banana. There's a bready note. There, that black pepper comes through on the palate. Oak comes through on the palate. It's nice, funky oak. And then it levels off into that creamy vanilla hints of butterscotch finish. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Mm. Some of that spearmint rye is starting to show up on the palate. I like it. I like it. This is pretty good. Alrighty then. This one, uh, this one worked out. I had a couple that were for the Bears Club. I had one that was the, called the Front Nine and one that was called the Back Nine. And one of them was wonderful and one of them was not so great. I can't remember which one's which. But this one, this one's pretty great. Inlet Harbor Liquors has done it again. Good job. Wow. So yeah, this is pretty great. And uh, these guys do ship, by the way. So if you go to their website, look up Inlet Harbor Liquors, uh, Riviera Beach, Florida. They they do ship bottles. So, limited. It's limited. They don't do everything. But anyway, check them out. Pretty good pick. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Shelby, for the barrel. I'm going to chop that into pieces and make all kinds of cool stuff out of it, like flight boards and, and coasters and... and dispensers like the one on the wall back there so that'll be fun thanks for watching guys until next time have a great